It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Jets and the Silver and Black under the lights on Sunday night. Now from a field that will host Super Bowl 58 come February, there's a good look inside Allegiant Stadium just off the 15 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Tonight we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, it's year four of this wonderful building now and it's going to host the Super Bowl come February. Fans of the Silver and Black certainly hoping their guys will be a part of it. But this is a franchise that hasn't won a playoff game since the 2002 season. But they should be firmly focused on getting back to the playoffs. They have the team that can do that. Defensively, they get after the quarterback. Great pass rush. And now they have a new leader, a quarterback, and they expect to put some points on the board. But meanwhile, he won't be wearing number 12. He's back to his college number in deference to Joe Namath. But Aaron Rodgers, after an offseason with some anxious moments for Jets fans, he is in the fold and starting here at quarterback. And it just changes the whole perception of this team. Already good on defense. Everyone kept saying they were a quarterback away. Well, I'd say Aaron Rodgers is that quarterback. And now everyone will play even better on the offensive side of the ball. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent. Leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas... They're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. It's second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Play action, Garoppolo. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the... And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a jet touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. It's one play at a time, baby. 
Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Garoppolo. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Garoppolo now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. He got 29 yards that time. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On play action, it's Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Throw left side complete. That's Adams. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. A nice carry by Jacobs who's coming off a career year. Just when it seemed like Vegas may have been ready to move on from him. Led the NFL with over 1,600 yards and was more than deserving of his first All-Pro selection. Garoppolo on first down. He's got Hooper on the short connection. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams, 29 yards. And the Raiders are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And when the quarterback drops and has a guy that wide open in the end zone, his eyes have to get just as big as grapefruits. Oh, without a doubt. And this is the easiest throw you're going to get. And you're going to get the benefit of a touchdown on top of it. Make that throw. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Well, the new-look Jets ready to go on offense, and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this, this is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. But Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon, and what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure at him, make him deliver the ball on time, it's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep, that's when you're in big trouble. So the completion gets him just a yard, and now that sets up third and two. Rodgers now to throw. And a quick throw there is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And now nothing but green ahead of him. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 31 yards there and a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily, break a few tackles, gain some additional yardage. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. That's caught by Myers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back trying to cover couldn't get there in time well scripted they had the big running play now the big passing play here's Jacobs on first and ten and he stopped immediately there 
Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. On second down, here's Garoppolo. That's complete into the hands of Myers. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Carlson is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Rodgers now on first down. Open man here is Conklin. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. He'll get this to Lazard. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Raiders offense coming back out onto the field. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. 
Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility, the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run stuff and variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Jacobs again. And he's not going too far. In fact, stopped dead in his tracks at the three. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let him know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. And he's got Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Raiders are able to add on to that lead. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The New York set to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down.
They fake the give. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-17-7 the score. Audi A Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 37 yards. And the Jets have got it back to within a score. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. And he is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Jacobs going to try the middle. Showed off the footwork, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Six yards on the pickup. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Decent run, maybe hoping for a little bit more. Does those set up third and manageable? And every play this run, if it's blocked perfectly and executed perfectly, it's set up to go for a touchdown, right? But I like the way you described that one. Just get into a third and manageable, nice decision making, and took care of the football. Jacobs. And Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get there. No. It appears they're going to mark him short of the first. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? Your two-point conversion plays. Because you've drawn up a number of them in today's football. You don't just have one or two for the game. You have more like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Brees Hall, and he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. So not quite out of danger just yet. Still backed up a bit, but only need a few inches here on second down. Back to the ground. This time Cook. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Oh, fighting off the defender. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. They run it again with Cook. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. 
Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Oh, and that is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Rodgers. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full ten yards here. Throwing is Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. Rodgers going to throw. That's complete to Lazard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Second and a couple. Cook up the gut. And he's got some space here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Just looking out from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, Tight end is one of the guys you've got to key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and four. Rodgers now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. On second down, here's Rodgers. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. 
Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Jets go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that amazingly, a 17-play drive. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now Abdullah, the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball at the 26, second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll come up facing third and five. Garoppolo now. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. First down now, but that clock rolling. On play action, it's Garoppolo. That's caught by Myers. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards that time. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he'll get it down here to the 43. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run. But how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in? Or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. 
And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn, can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Rodgers' throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. going to be incomplete speed is the name of the game when it comes to rpos and sometimes you can be a little too quick thus inaccurate incomplete now a second and ten to throw it's rogers this is lazard with a catch out left five yards now it's third and five and when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play he can hurt you downfield he reads defenses so well doesn't he he really does and the best part about that play for him i don't think that was his primary target i don't think so either i think he had the read figured out where the blitz was coming from and went to a secondary target for a really nice game now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. And duel at a return. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and ten. 
So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. A handoff, Jacobs running to the left. Oh, an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Oh, the slam connects with Devontae Adams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. Now a toss to the left for Jacobs. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. Ordinarily in short yardage, most people don't run a toss because it takes a little bit longer to develop. But some teams see it as a very physical type run because the amount of people that get out in front of the runner, offensive linemen, tight end, sometimes an extra back, they like to run that play there and try and run over people. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Throw caught by Mayer. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Well, the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And from the 34, here's second and four. On play action, now Garoppolo. The open man here, Renfro. Stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That goes for a gain of 31. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. Garoppolo. 
Garoppolo looks to throw once more. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders have retaken a third quarter lead. Ah, oh, what a luxury it is to be able to call a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's got to hook up to Lazard. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back. His trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Now Rodgers. On the slant, he's got Hardman. That'll give him eight that time. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Time again to see Josh Jacobs in this Vegas offense operate. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And, again, that second score here in the third quarter. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Second down and eight. To throw is Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. So just three yards on the completion there. And now we've got a third and four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. 
catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This now a third and four. Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And the Jets set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Trying to fire up that running game with Dalvin Cook. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 76 yards rushing now for Cook, and this is a first down. Well, it's kind of fitting. A couple days ago when we met with him, I said, what is it about your running game that's so effective? He said, I like to tag myself as elusive. He was pretty elusive right there. And his teammates appreciate that because they know they don't have to hold their blocks for very long. As one of them told us, if I just breathe some bad breath on the guy in front of me, that's all I need to do, and he's gone. On first down, Rodgers. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Four receivers split out here. It's third and eight. Throwing is Rodgers. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man. And each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. And here comes Abdullah on the return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, he's got Myers. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. And it's third and short. to throw, it's Garoppolo. He finds his man complete, it's Jenkins. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just gonna run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. 
Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Ball on the 39. Here's a second and seven. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Throwing on second and long, Garoppolo. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Ninth play of the drive coming up and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Another go-around now for the Jets' offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven. Now it's Rodgers. He'll dump this off to Cook. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. 
They'll wind up getting just a yard. Third and seven now. And it is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders is shaken up on that one. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. From the 46, here's second and four. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. to throw once more. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 13. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Jacobs going to try the middle. Fights him off. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 96 yards on the ground here for Jacobs, and this is a first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Second and six. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. First down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. 
And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Quick throw caught on line by Renfro. The oh, heck of a move. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This is second and eight. Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Two yards still to go. Third down now. On play action. Now Garoppolo. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's in the cornerback position. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Raiders get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Carlson now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by the Austin Hooper touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New York ready to go again offensively. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit.
Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 22. On play action, they'll throw. Open man is Uzama. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Now Rodgers. Wilson's got it complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And for as poorly as this offense has looked at times, it's the fourth quarter and they're still in this game. That's a good, confident throw right there. And now, who knows? If you can put a drive together here, you can make something of this game after all. Rodgers now on first down. Well, that one fell incomplete after being tipped in the air. But I have to tell you, I had a bad flashback of going to head to the stadium stairs in practice because what we were always taught, any ball like that, if it's not spiked towards the ground and you actually tip it up, then that's an error on your part because now you've given hope to the offense, maybe help create a big play for them instead of going up and either intercepting it or knocking it down. I ran many a stadium step for my errors. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 34-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He finds Wilson, and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 16. 89 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Third down. Here's a run by Cook. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I was used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher, and all night long, he's carried this team. He has indeed. Everything magnified right now, a huge third down conversion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Rodgers going to throw. Taken in left side, it's Wilson. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Rodgers to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Jets! Aaron Rodgers.
Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now Abdullah, the return, taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On second down, here's Garoppolo. It's caught here by Adams. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. That is intercepted. Picked up by DJ Reed, and the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Oh my, how the tables have turned now. They were trying to salt this one away, but that interception, potentially a game changer. And I've just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that your M.O., and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no brakes, you better have the emergency lever to pull occasionally. They could have used it right there. They put themselves in the tough spot with that interception. This is first and ten. Now Rodgers. And complete right side to Cook. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. Here comes second down. Back to throw, Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Brandon's okay with what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. To throw is Rodgers. That is caught at the 7. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here we go. First and goal. Rodgers to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute.
Some many practices we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So Garoppolo and the Raiders now. Down 35-31, 30 seconds to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Back to throw, Garoppolo. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Garoppolo to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So now let's look at the situation. They do have all three timeouts remaining, so barring a first down, they could conceivably get the ball back. So now it's all about defense and stopping the clock. Don't give up any yardage, right? Use your timeouts, and your offense always practices going downfield without timeouts. You know, those two-minute drills, uh, most of them are running practice without the benefit of timeouts. They want to make it as tough a situation as possible. They're in it right now. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.